Hey everyone, Susan Black here, and you can see I'm in my car again. Got the cars whizzing by on Memorial Parkway, and I dropped my hubby off for his haircut. So he's in there getting his haircut, and I'm out here in the car doing a few things. And it made me think about the Christmas season, since today is December 1st, and it is the first week in Advent. And the first week we light the candle and we, um, we really focus on hope. Because if you lose hope, that really is a depressing thing. Um, whether you lose hope because you're sick, you have loved ones that are sick, maybe you have somebody who's going through cancer treatments, maybe you have children that have recently passed away, and I can't even imagine how difficult that is. Or you could be in my situation where you have a spouse that you know has a terminal illness. My husband has Alzheimer's, but it is a younger, it's an earlier onset, and it is terminal. I mean, we, we know there's no cure and that nobody has really come out of um, Alzheimer's, but you have to have hope. And the hope that I have, of course, it's not that my husband is going to be cured, because unfortunately there is no treatment for that. But the hope is in each day. It's in the blessings that we get from our loved ones. It's the blessings that we get from our family, from our church. It's the blessings that we get in the small things like the snowflakes that we had here in Huntsville yesterday. Pete was just laughing at me because I'm like a kid. I said, oh, it's snowing. Now you had to look really hard to see it snowing, but it gives me joy and we need joy, but we especially need hope, especially now when we're in a pandemic. Uh, it can be pretty depressing. And if we don't have hope, if we've lost hope, I just, it's, it's a bad situation to be in. We all need to have hope. So this week I've really been trying to concentrate on the word hope as we go into the Advent season and the Christmas season. And yes, it's going to be totally different than we've ever had before, but keep in mind, things are different. It doesn't mean it has to be bad by any means. Make new traditions. Uh, enjoy new things. Find joy in the small things. Even now, I'm sitting in the car because my husband can no longer drive and I've dropped him off for a haircut. But the joy in that is I get a few minutes by myself. You know, nobody else talking to me. I can just have some quiet time. So focus on that. Focus on the joy in the small things in your life. Focus on the joy of the big things in your life. And right now we focus on joy of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, on Christmas Day. So I'd love to reach out to any of you if you're having any, any issues, if you're struggling. Um, we need to be there for each other. So until we meet again, remember to enjoy your journey.